Okay, I'm done having fun. Let's get into it. I had no idea the curtain bangs are trending right now. I got my hair cut done back in July and I just wanted a change up. I've had my hair really long for a while and I just wanted to cut a lot of it off. I ended up cutting six inches from March to July. And I've always wanted bangs. I've always wanted to try them out. I haven't had them since I was six years old. And I just really want to do something different. We live one life, so why not do something different? Experiment. So I went with curtain bangs. This was my inspiration photo. I love Hilary Duff. Curtain bangs look so good on her. Now, I do have a widow's peak. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I didn't realize that either until seven years ago and someone told me, oh, you have a widow's peak. And I was like, really? And I really didn't know what that meant. Sometimes it's annoying because I like doing a middle part, but for the most part, I don't mind it. You know, it's just a part of me and it's not something that I'm going to get rid of. If you have a widow's peak, keep it and don't do anything. Learn to love it and find out hairstyles that really look well with your widow's peak because most people don't really like doing a middle part with a widow's peak because it looks very obvious, but hey i'm rocking my widow's peak and i have a middle part with my curtain bangs so if i can do it you can do it too so yeah i cut six inches off i went darker and i got bangs sometimes a pandemic will do that to you you know i actually forget that i have bangs sometimes because i'm always doing this in my videos or if i'm doing a makeup video i tend to pull my hair back and they've been growing out quite a bit since july they used to be here and now they're here so my hair grows pretty fast and that's why i love curtain bangs it's not a huge commitment and when they start to grow you can just tuck them behind your ears and it still looks really cute this style allows you to dip your toes but not fully commit which is what i love plus you can do a lot more styles overall if that didn't convince you to get curtain bangs make sure to keep watching because it definitely will by the end all right let's get into the hair first start off with freshly washed hair if you do not use a microfiber towel you are missing out and this is me telling you that you need one a regular bath towel is not doing it especially if you have frizzy hair coarse hair dry hair this will help one absorb all the water and there's little to no frizz and let me show you no frizz whatsoever plus this one is the perfect size i've used other ones before where they're a little too tight and i think that's just because of the amount of hair i have so i will link this one down below don't use a bath towel my bangs are already starting to curl. Look at that wave. So I'm gonna go in with the Kristen S Detangling Tonic. This is fragrance free, I love it. I did a review on her whole fragrance free line. If you guys are interested, I'll leave it right here. Just spray it into the hair. It detangles the hair and also adds some shine. And then with another Kristen S product, this is the detangling brush. It is my holy grail brush. Even my hairstylist has this brush. I own two of these. It is absolutely amazing. Now watch. Look how easy that was. That was beautiful. I even have to start at the very ends like you usually do to get tangles. That is absolutely beautiful. The combination with the tonic and this are two perfect pairs. Like that was effortless. I enjoy brushing my hair. It feels so nice. Hmm. It might be hard to believe, but I actually have wavy hair. It kind of looks straight right now besides my bangs pulled back, but I have wavy hair. Coarse hair specifically, very dry and it's thick, so I'm going to section it off first. My bangs I'm going to section off separately, but I think I'm going to start off with the bottom part first and then work my way up. The thicker and curlier your hair is, the more sections you have to do, especially up here if it gets really curly. You just want to make sure you smooth those pieces out. Since I have wavy hair, I can actually do just two bottom sections. Since I'm doing blow I'll be using the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer. I've had this for almost a year and I really love it. If you do not have this, that's okay. You can also use a blow dryer and a round brush. You'll get a similar effect. This is just easier and a lot faster. I 
I'm riding Just know that you will never have to wonder the bottom pieces are done, so I'm going to start working my way up. And the bangs are going to be left at the very end. So I'm taking my bangs and all the pieces that frame my face. I'm going to pin it up and then go back to my sections. This is actually really hard to do without a mirror. So if I'm having trouble, you guys know why. I'm just using the viewfinder to blow dry my hair. And something that you guys might have noticed is that I like to twist my hair away from my face. For a blowout, I just like this body and volume to it, especially towards the bottom half of my hair. With that tool, yes, you can get lots of volume, but it creates a certain kind of blowout, a very straight blowout. So I'm going to be incorporating another tool right after I do my bangs. Make sure to brush your bangs forward. There are no tangles, just double check with that. And then what I'll be doing is, I'm going to take this, I think my hair on my lip, I'm good. You're going to take it under and you're going to roll it up like this and then hold it there Take it out and then do it just a couple more times and that's going to give you that bend and all of that beautiful volume Do you guys see that? That is so pretty. Now I'm going to take the Amika Thermal Brush. This is similar, but also different from the Revlon one. This one, you cannot use it on wet hair, and it also has a smaller barrel. That's the main reason why I love it so much. I actually love it more than the other one because it gives me so much volume and a lot of body, especially down towards here. That is what I prefer in a blowout, and this is going to help with your bangs, especially since they are shorter. So so same thing, you're going towards your face. You can also do this with a hair roller and just put a big one right here, especially if you don't really like heat or your hair has trouble holding a curl. Just do this, leave it in, and then go back to it. Are you ready? Watch this. Look at all of that volume. I'm going to finish the rest of my hair and add a little more volume using that brush and I'll be right back. You probably can't take me seriously, right? Because you don't see my eyes or really anything. But I'm here, don't worry. <laughs> yes, this is May. She is behind the curtain bangs. <laughs> all right, my bangs are here, perky and voluminous. I'm gonna go in with some hair products. This is the Gazoo Honey Infused Hair Oil. I have not much left, but this is so good. This has lasted me over a year. It works so well on all types of hair. If your hair has trouble holding a hairstyle, I like going in with the Tresemme Invisible Hold. This one is very light and you can still run your fingers through your hair. So this is the final look. So much volume. The hair looks absolutely beautiful. The shine. I love it so much. It just frames my face so beautifully and you can do so much with this hairstyle. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Are you interested in seeing how I style my bangs as far as like an updo, ponytail, bun, please let me know down below because I love using a French pin. I love when my pieces just frame my face and then I have a French pin in the back or a high ponytail. Please let me know down below because it helps me so much and what kind of content I should create in the future. And if you haven't already, make sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more fashion and beauty content. I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Get curtain bangs, just don't do it yourself. You're dying, I'm riding, just know that you won't never